There are two types of people in this world. The drifter and the player. The drifter wakes up aimlessly. He goes to school, goes to his job, comes home and immediately starts slaying goblins, leveling up his skills, exploring the map in the video game that he's playing. The drifter is overcome by this feeling of low self-esteem. The only place that he's confident in is in the virtual world. The only escape haven for him to be in. But outside of that, the drifter lives a lot of his life like a bot, like some side character, letting everything happen to him instead of him happening to life. Then there's the player. The player wakes up immediately and starts getting his wins in the journaling, meditation, 50 push-ups, to-do list, praying. He already has five wins before anyone has woken up. The player realizes that if he does not take control of his life, someone else or something will take control of his life for him. So therefore he takes every single opportunity to level up, learn new skills, meet new people, explore this mysterious world that we spawn into. The player is really the main character of his life and you can be as well. Let's be honest, how long have you lived like a side character? And to be honest, I've lived like for a side character for the longest time. I used to be in like my own world, my own little domain. I remember in middle school too, I would come home from school and immediately throw my bag against the wall and just start going on my, um, my PlayStation, just playing video games, playing story games by myself, just being in my own world. I get, I get to turn my brain off and just go into this virtual world and explore the map, explore what's going on. It was so fun, right? But I didn't realize that there was a whole world for me to explore in real life, a whole world for me to level up, meet new people, learn skills, etc. So what are some ways that you can stop living like a side character? Because what is the point of living like, like a side character? Living in your own little world, your own little bubble, you get to flow through life like a feather in the wind, you let people sway you this way, sway you that way. I think it's time for us to wake up and realize that we need to actually take control of our life. We need to actually wake up and try to build good habits and try to form and bend reality to our will because you can, you can do that. You don't have to keep living like an accident. You don't have to keep living life like a side character like, yeah, like I'm just gonna go through life and maybe this thing will happen to me or maybe I'll do this, maybe I'll do that. Like, no, what do you wanna do what do you want to see? What are the things that you want to create and stuff? Because this is your only life and why would you live it in such a mundane, such a short, such a, a just meaningless life? Don't live life like a meaningless thing because whether it's meaningless or not, you might as well do something. You might as well, because it's you're going to suffer regardless, but suffering ceases to exist when it finds meaning, when it finds something fascinating it's either the pain of discipline or the pain of regret you really get to choose which way that you want to kind of go into and i'm telling you the pain of regret doesn't is not fruitful but the pain of discipline the pain of wanting to go through those those tedious tasks those those little things the slow start of self-improvement is really fruitful in the end the pain of discipline is 100 percent times more fruitful than the pain of regret some ways that you can even become a main character is to really understand what do you want, what do you desire, what are you motivated by, and really when you see, when the thoughts form up in your mind about what you really want, what you really desire, take into account what they are and be like, how? Not just why and what, how? How can I get those things and what I need to do today in order to get those things? So this, I'm gonna keep this video short, but I'm gonna give you a quest right now I got this kind of concept from the, um, the anime called Zom 100. So pretty much this guy, his name was Akira, and he was living in his company, or not living in his company, but working for a job for three years straight, and he was being slaved away. He lost his own self. And all of a sudden, one day breaks out, like a zombie apocalypse breaks out. And all of a sudden, he feels free. He feels blissful. He feels like he can actually live his life like the main character. And what he does first thing is, is writes down a hundred things that he wants to do before becoming a zombie. So I'm gonna use that concept to hear whether you watch anime or not, doesn't really matter. This really does work well because I've done this practice as well. It begins to open your mind about the possibilities of your life and it really kind of gives you a little bit of urgency that you wanna do so much, but life is really short in the end. So what it's gonna do, the question right now is to write down 100 things, 100 things that you wanna do before you fucking die. And the reason I want you to do this is because this practice kind of gives you urgency. It kind of gives you a sense of vitality. Okay, now you feel more alive. Now you have something to chase after. 
And if you sit there with a blank piece of paper and you kind of just like, uh, I don't really know what I want. You know what you fucking want. Don't fucking lie to yourself. Like, you know what you want deep down. Don't be like, oh, I don't know what I want. Like, if you really want to live like that and you really want to let people tell you what you want, you're going to live a fucking miserable existence. And I say this and I, I'm reason I'm cursing. And I'm saying it like this because I'm passionate about that. I don't want you to live life like that. So live life on your own terms. Become the main character. Really try to live it up. If you want to go see this place in the world, go see the place in the world. If you really want to make content, make content. If you really want to find the girl of your dreams, find the girl of your dreams. If you really want to learn a new skill, if you really want to build a business, if you really want to build good relationships, if you really want to, I don't know, like you, if you want to do things, you can do things. Don't be afraid to do anything. Because I'm telling you, this world is yours for the taking. There's so many places for you that you haven't seen. There's so many people you haven't met yet. There's so many things that you haven't learned yet. There's so many things in this world. Like, it's time to, to gain that childlike energy again and go out and experience and be blissful. And even if you're older, you don't even have to be my age to do these things. You could be fucking 40, 50 years old and still write down 100 things that you want to do until you die. Like, you're still young regardless. Like, you just do it while you can. Why not do it? You might as well. You have so much more to live for than the meaningless mundane cycle and averageness of life that life offers you because life offers you something different but society offers you something like that that's what society offers you but the world god the creator offers you something different he offers a relationship with you he offers you to love one another to love your neighbor like your love your enemy to want to create and to serve other people that's what he offers he offers eternal life with him right and there's so many things that the world offers and life offers that society kind of contradicts so really try to open your mind because you because here's the thing right you might as well expand your mind towards the possibilities of what you can achieve and what you want to do because why would you short end yourself why would you fucking shit on yourself and cheat on yourself by setting little mundane little boring goals for yourself go beyond go plus ultra go fucking expand your mind towards the biggest of thinking and call this pessim no call this optimistic or whatever you want call it like a delusion i don't give a fuck like who who cares if you live in a delusion live it up i will live in this fucking delusion because my world is so much more brighter it's so much more full of zest and vitality i feel like i'm alive i feel like i'm the main character and call that cliche call that fucking cringy it doesn't matter right live up your life write down those, write down those 100 things and fucking mean it why not instead of just scrolling like a fucking like a bot instead of scrolling like a bot actually get after it and actually chase life and chase the opportunities there's so many things that humans are capable of that we haven't even discovered yet you can discover that you can discover what the human body's capable of the human mind is capable of the human spirit love relationships people there's so many things that you can give to the world that you can that you can achieve that you can level up that you can learn reward earn like etc whatever that you can get so why why not go out and get it so this actually makes me excited just even talking about this in general like i feel excited for you to write down your hundred uh list of things and the thing is when you write down that list you don't even have to even even achieve all of them but it's just a way for you to open up your mind and to open up the possibilities of all the things that I want to do in this world before I die. It can even go past 100. Fuck it, right? So take that. Take your list and really just look at it every single day. Wow, I want to do this. I want to do this. I want to do that. And don't overwhelm yourself either because live in the present. What can I do now every single day? Because you have a whole life to live, dude. You have a whole life to live. And there's so much more to life than that. You can give so much more to life. Also, tune in the link in the description. I have a free Discord that you can join at the moment of me filming this video, we have over 600 members in there and we talk about purpose, finding meaning in life, productivity, how to get better, how to actually want to be the hero, the main character of your life. We have weekly calls every week and I also have a course in there on how to stop drifting, how to actually take control and adopt this player's mindset, this main character's mindset of living life like a player. So if you want to join, I'd be happy to have you. And with that, continue your journey and keep moving forward.